uh, being the king of pop and the biggest recording star in the world, what is your philosophy of staying at the top? Well, I think being humble and believing in yourself and having true love in your heart for the world and really trying to help people through lyrics and the love of music and dance because I truly do love people very much. Realizing that, but does it not put pressure on you? I mean, that you have to be, well, it always, hold you, it's such a steam, right? It always does. The next album has to be better than the other. Well, how do you cope with all the hysteria? I mean, wherever you go, whether it's London, whether it's Munich, whether it's New York, whether it's Bangkok, whether it's Japan, and even here in Australia, how do you cope with the hysteria? Mm. I know it's all love, so it makes my heart very happy. And I like to give it back, you know, to however I can give. And uh, it puts a smile on my face to see all the children and all the teenagers and the, the adults, the demographics. It makes my heart very, very happy. I love them. I love all the fans very much. Well, we're coping with the hysteria. I mean, I can't cope with it. I mean, watching all of this going on around, I mean, the press have been absolutely manic. It's been manic mania. Can I ask you, do you ever relax? Does Michael Jackson ever relax? Because I know you're a workaholic. Yes, I am a workaholic. Uh, I don't relax, really. I, I don't sleep a lot. I like to continually... Uh, my mind never stops. I'm always creating. I never stop. But I love a good water balloon fight or, you know, playing around, goofing off, Nintendo games, arcades. Mm -hmm. Now, Michael, I have to ask you this question. Being possibly the biggest profile in the world, uh, I guess Princess Diana matches you, you read all these amazing stories about Michael Jackson. I mean, I don't know whether they're true or not. Um, you read that Michael Jackson's a weirdo. You read that Michael Jackson's bizarre. You read that he's done this, he's done that. Now, I know some of those stories are not true because, I mean, even I was accused of being at your wedding and I knew that wasn't true. But how do you cope? How do you feel about all the stories that are written about you? It's very sad. I just want the fans to know and to understand that it's not the truth. 99.9% .9 of it is not the truth. And don't read it, don't believe it, it's garbage, it's tabloid junk. I mean, they just simply make it up for greed and money. So uh, please don't, don't listen to it. Right. It's trash. All right, now, there's one more question I've got to ask you. Uh, this is about uh, a personal friend of yours. But I have got to ask this question. I am a Stephen King fanatic. I have every book um, that possibly Stephen King has written. Um, you, you can say, mind your own business. And I know you've done Ghost with him, and I think that's a sensational piece of work. Thank you. I mean, did you enjoy doing that? Very much, yes, yeah? yes. I mean, that skeleton, I mean, that blew me right <laughs> out. Yeah? Were you there at the premiere? No, but I've seen it at home, you know? oh. It's just amazing. Can I ask you, what is Stephen King like? Stephen King is a very gentle, sweet, kind man. I mean, the profile that we see in, in the books and in his works, and he's nothing like that. He's very humble. Uh, a lot of people try to judge me the same way, but I'm pretty simple. I, I love to create. I love to make magic. I love to create the unexpected, you know? And Stephen, uh, he's just wonderful. He's not bizarre or strange or no. weird. He's, he's a loving person. And great to work with. Great to work with. We together, he and I wrote Ghosts, and we had fun doing it. All right, now listen, I never normally ask for autographs, but this is a Stephen King book, and it's called Insomnia, and I'm sure that over the last week I've had no sleep thinking <laughs> about the Michael Jackson thing. Can you please sign this book sure. uh, of Stephen King's for me? Sure. Thanks, Thank Mark. you. Thanks very much. Thank you, Enjoy Molly. Australia. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to more work from Michael Jackson, more records. Thank you. And being you know, the biggest star, if they're not the biggest star in the world. And entertaining everyone. All my love to everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.